Magandang buhay mga bata. Tara, samahanin niyo ako matutok kasama si Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you! Matatag Curriculum, Mathematics Grade 4, Quarter 1, Lesson 1. Our topic is about angles. This is Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Content Standards The learners should have knowledge and understanding of measures of angles. Performance Standards By the end of the quarter, the learners are able to illustrate and measure different angles. Learning Competency and Objectives By the end of the quarter, the learners are able to First, illustrate different angles, write, acute, and obtuse using models. Second, measure and draw angles using a protractor. Let's have first a short review. Directions tell whether the illustration represents a point, segment, or ray. Write your answer on the blank provided. Number 1. Tip of pen The answer, point. Number two, hands of clock. The answer, ray. Number three, edge of ruler. The answer, segment. Number four, sun rays. The answer, ray. Let's have a show-and-tell activity. Directions, which part of each object illustrates an angle? Let's have the first one. Abanico, blades or segments spread out, forming angles from the center. Next is windmill. Blades create angles with the central axis. Third is bed. Hinge forms an angle as the bed folds. Angles play a significant role in geometry and real-life application. The aim for today is to understand the concept of angles. Unlocking Content Vocabulary First, an angle is the union of two rays with the same endpoint. There are six kinds of angles. First is acute angle. Second is right angle. Third is obtuse angle. Fourth is straight angle. Fifth is reflex angle. And sixth is the complete angle. The next word we have, vertex. This common endpoint is called the vertex. V 
vertex of the angle. The third word is rays. The sides of an angle are rays. We have the first ray and the second ray. Next, we have protractor. A protractor is a tool we use to measure angles in degrees. Let's have our topic. The sample figure is an angle. The angle is the union of two rays with the same point. This common endpoint is called the vertex of the angle. The vertex of the angle is point E. Its sides are sides EN and sides EL. An angle can be named using only the vertex of three points on the angle, with the vertex in the middle and the other two points on each side. The angle of the figure can be named as angle E or angle NEL or angle LEN. And this symbol is read as angle. An angle can also be named by the symbol in the interior of the angle. By the intersection of the sides, this angle can be named as angle B, angle ABC, or angle CBA, or angle 1. If several angles have the same vertex, we must name each angle using three points rather than using the vertex only. In the figure, each of the three angles has vertex M. Angle LMP or angle PMN or angle LMN. The angles must not be named using only the vertex to avoid confusion. A protractor is a device or tool used to measure angles. Degree is a unit of angle measure. Let's have the worked example. Example number one. Name the angle in four ways. The angle can be named as follows. Angle A, Angle TAL, Angle LAP, or Angle 1. Example number two, name three angles in the figure. The angles in the figure are angle ADB or angle BDA, angle BDC or angle CDB, angle ADC or angle CDA. Let's have a lesson activity. Here is the learning activity sheet. Lesson title or topic, Angles. Activity number one, Angles. Objectives, 
by the end of the lesson, the students are able to illustrate different angles, right, acute, and obtuse using models. Materials needed, pen and ruler. Instructions, answer the following problems. Number one, name the vertex and side of the angle. Number two, name the angle in four ways. Number three, draw an angle whose sides are AM and AP. Don't forget, vertex is the point where two rays or line segment meet to form an angle. Sides the rays or line segments that form the angle. Types of angles, acute, less than 90 degrees, right, 90 degrees, obtuse, more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees, and straight, 180 degrees. Measurement, angles are measured in degrees using a protractor. And that wraps up today's lesson. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for tuning in.